Hi everyone, my name is Richard and in this tutorial we're going to show how to create a webinar here in GoBranch. Let's start here in the lobby and click on the second option, create your webinar. I'm going to start here with our webinar. Let's just add a name and a description. Now we can choose a virtual location. And now we can type the session name. Here you can choose between public and private. If you switch here to private, you're gonna you'll be able to enter a secret key, and then you can share the secret key with everyone you want to invite for your webinar. So for now, let's just keep it public. I'll pick a date here. Today is 29th at 12. Um, 27 is okay. PM to 1 PM. Sounds good for now. Now we can choose from some room layouts that you have. So we can start here from the small one which fits 10 people at the same time, or you just can scroll he here, scroll right, and then you can see some more. And the largest one that we have here fits 409 people at the same time. So for now, let's just choose this one. If you want to record your session, just check this option. And GoBrunch will automatically record for you. So we're gonna, you're going to receive an email as soon as your record is available. And you'll be able to download and use in any way you want. Also, if you want to watch the replay here inside GoBrunch and let people to watch inside here at GoBrunch, you can just check this option and you can also choose from which day you want this replay available at. You can also show the faces of other presenters that you may have. So just check this option and add those names. You can check here another dots that you have to scroll right. And this will allow you to add other sessions. I won't, I won't cover this part for now, but we will in, in the next tutorials. So for now, just let's just get back here and click here on create event. And it said it was created. And it asks if you want to get inside right now. I'll say no for now. And now we can click here on view your webinars. And it just takes us to this list, which will pretty much list all the webinars that we have. So we'd have here the name, the dates, and, and the time. And at any point, we can also edit the webinar and edit any content that we have. We can delete this webinar. And you can see here in blue the registrants that we have. So it will show the number of registrants that we have, number of attendees. And once we click on it, it will download a CSV file so we'll be able to open on Excel or any other spreadsheet. All right, so as soon as you create your event, you also are going to receive an email just like this one. And you can add your candle, a calendar, but the most important is this link. And this link is the link we're going to share with the people you want to invite for your webinar. So you can share using email or any social media. And as soon as they click on this link, they will land on the on this page, which is, which is pretty much the landing page of your event. And they then they can, your attendees can just register with just one click. We're gonna email you as soon as your record is available. So you're gonna receive an email just like this one. And when your replay is available as well. And also, there's another way to see your webinars. If you click here on the main menu, 
gonna see here my page and once you click on this page you're gonna see all the webinars that you have and we can also share this link of this page of your page with everyone you want so this is pretty much the portfolio of everything that you have already done in terms of webinars and recordings here in GoBrunch. All right, let's get back here on the lobby. Let's enter here on my pay, my webinar. Another important information is that um, as soon as you create your webinar, as soon as people register, they will receive a reminder so they receive one one reminder, uh, one day before and the second one 20 minutes before. Let's just get back here. I think I have another one. I think this is that's the one I was looking for. Yes. Okay. So as soon as we get inside our webinar, you can see here you have all those spots that we can navigate, which is pretty cool. So we can just choose wherever you want to be just like a real auditorium all right so at the left side you can see a lot of icons and the most important is the broadcast and once we click here at the broadcast start broadcasting for everyone so people will be able to see you and hear you so we can see here we can see here the camera icon and the mic icon so if i click on the camera again it will pretty much turn off my camera and if you click here on the microphone, you can see uh, some options, some other sources that you have. So you'll be able to choose, uh, for example, if you're using an external microphone, you can you'll be able to choose the, this microphone the way you wish. Okay. If you want to mute yourself at your end, you can just click here and you will only be able to listen to anyone if you need a minute of silence. And here you have the options for sharing your screen. So you can see here's two options. The first one will allow you to share your screen. You can share your whole desktop or in a specific application. So let's just share here um, the Google Chrome. So right now we can see just the same thing we are at the same screen. So by clicking and dragging here at the edge, you can resize the screen, as you can see. Uh, if I, if I want to share a specific application, for example, an Excel file, just click here and boom, you have the Excel file showing for sharing for everyone. And as soon as I start um, typing anything or changing anything here, they will be seeing everything you do. All right. And the second option that we have here is to upload a PowerPoint or PDF presentation file. Let me show how it works. Let me just click here and upload. Let me find here a PDF. So as much as you have these two options, we usually encourage you to use the PDF. And that's because sometimes the PowerPoint does not embed the fonts properly. So by choosing the PDF, exporting PDF, uh, you won't have this problem. So all the fonts will open properly the way you do it. Okay, so this is the PowerPoint file just uploaded. And this, and the pretty, pretty cool thing you can find here is that uh, you can navigate through these slides. So once you do that, so once you navigate through these slides, people are just seeing the same thing as you. And the best thing about it is that you don't have to leave this page, you don't have to switch between windows. And so you can keep your eyes on the chat and everything that is going on inside your room. All right, so now uh, I'm gonna show you how to interact with other people using media, using microphone, how to turn on camera and microphone from your attendees. So you can see Ricardo is here. So I just type here, hi Ricardo. He's just looking my chat. He can reply and you can see here right at the, uh, at the left side of the send button, you can see here this small icon. And as soon as we click here, you can see six commands that we can use to interact with, with Ricardo or any other attendee 
and the other are in the inside his room. So this is pretty much to turn on his camera and microphone. I'm gonna just show you how it works. If we type here at, you can see here options for at Ricardo cam, which will turn on his camera, cam off, mic, mic off, and I'm gonna show you how all mic, mic, mic works. For now, if you start typing here, Ricardo, you will autocomplete because if you have a full room full of people, it will really help and facilitate your webinar. Let's start here with the mic. I will just, just type here, Ricardo, mic, and type enter. Now he just got an, uh, a request for turning on his microphone. Hi, Ricardo, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Hey, how about you? Yes, I can hear you very well. Nice. And if I want to, if you want to turn on his camera, just come here on Ricardo Cam. All right, here, here we go. Hi, I'm hey, here. Hi, buddy. How are you? <laughs> Fine, and you? I'm good, thanks. Great. So at, at any moment, we can also turn off his camera, but uh, Ricardo can also share his screen. Can you share his your screen, please? Yeah. Great. So now we have our screen share, his camera, and his screen share. And I can also turn on my camera. So now we have uh, both. Yes. Uh, yeah, we can have, we have uh, two cameras and two screen shares. So that's pretty much a lot of features that we can use in the same webinars. And at, at any time, we can also turn off his camera by typing here at Ricardo Cam off and we'll turn off his camera as well. Another cool feature that you can use here is the all mic, and the all mic will turn on the microphone for everyone, but there's a, uh, uh, a difference in, in mic and all mic, because all mic, as soon as we type this, the microphone will start available, it starts enable, disable, sorry, and as soon as you click on the microphone, you'll be able to speak. So let's say you, you are just you are just making a training and you want all your students to speak and make questions at any time. So just click here on all mic and it say, okay, everyone can speak right now. Just make sure you click on the microphone to get it yellow. So yellow is on and blue is off. So as soon as it's on, they can speak, they can make, make questions. And as soon as they start, they, they, they finish, finish uh, making their questions, they just click again and turn off, and then you can uh, answer. And that, that will make your webinar much more interactive and engaging. And again, at, at any point, you can turn all the mic off. All right, and as soon as you're recording, you can see here the recording is flashing. So it just indicates that this session is recording. So as I, I showed before, uh, as soon as this record is available, you just come here and go brunch. Scroll down here. You're gonna see the, this button here. It will be enable if your recording is ready. So just clicking here, you can download and use any, any way you want. And if you have your replay available, let me just scroll down here. Here we have all the webinars, of the public webinars in Go Brunch. And here we have the replays. So let's say we want to get inside, for example, this, this replay here. Let me just show quickly how it works. I'm going to click on Enter now. And the cool thing about Go Brunch replay is that another people can watch with you. So this replay, for example, it will start in 23 minutes. But if you have any other people here, they can watch together with you with your replay. And it's important to mention, mention that when you're recording, it only records your camera, your screen share. It's pretty much create like a, um, a mosaic of our pictures. So it will embed, will merge 
all your media in one in, in one single file. So you'll be able to uh, this is pretty much just like um, a whole webinar that you're going to have encapsulated in one file. So here, for example, if, if you have another people uh, watching your webinar or replay, you can interact with them. And if they have any questions at, at any point of the webinar, of the replay, they can just ask here the chat and you can answer. So it doesn't matter if it's live or not, you can always interact with people. And so everything is going on, it's pretty much interactive and engaging. So uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this tutorial. I hope you enjoy uh, and I see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.